Well, it is all about love as Valentine's Day is approaching. We are chatting with Greg Sanders with the Indianapolis Men's Chorus. And Greg, I understand first time putting together a Valentine's Day show. Good morning to you. Yeah, thank you so much. You're right. It is our first time doing a Valentine's Day show. Um, the idea came to me sometime in November, I think, as something we haven't done before that I thought could work really well in sort of the COVID um, environment that we have to find ways to perform in. I think so, too. Obviously, this one going virtual this year, but called I Am C in Love. Tell me all about it and what we can expect. Yeah, so we partnered with the Cabaret on North Pennsylvania, and we took a Sunday and filmed about 11 or 12 numbers, um, oh. all in sort of a socially distanced, small group kind of thing. And then those are all different types of love songs. And then to sort of uh, supplement that material, what I asked to do is we have several couples in the men's course, either guys who have met through the IMC and have uh, become a, uh, gone into a relationship or... Yeah people who were both up together and then showed up. Um, we also have um, several straight guys and their wives are, are involved as well. And so we thought it would be really nice to just sort of hear from the different couples that have been involved in our group mm -hmm. uh, and the ways in which music has sort of shaped both of their lives together. We just loved it because it does give us that opportunity that we can perform together. Um, we talk about music all the time right? as, as we are music educator, educators. So we, it gives us that moment to like kind of have our passion of what we talk and collaborate so much on ads for our students so we can actually do that same thing. So it's actually really awesome. Um, when he got hired at Franklin Community, I started doing some work with them. Um, and Johnny is really, really good at teaching voice. He teaches a lot of voice lessons and he's really good at getting girls singing high and singing loud. So he comes in. Um, and I think more than anything, we give our departments um, a sense of, re of, of um, each other and a sense of like love and re realness and authenticity exactly. because they yourself, see they you know? see us around each other they see you know I wish I would have had a high school director that had his husband you know what I'm saying around or in the classroom or even a picture of him in his office or whatever so and it all tells a story and everybody has a story but especially this Valentine's Day it's a story of love but you were mentioning to me there's really something about um, the arts right this type of performance bringing everybody together that makes them a little bit more vulnerable to love. I think that's true, yeah. Um, you know, I think about this sort of thing a lot, but it seems to me that when we talk about performance, um, and you see this in your work too, right? The thing that comes through the most is honesty. Um, mm -hmm. And the only way to really be honest is to be vulnerable. Um, and certainly in the performing arts, that level of vulnerability is something we really explore we don't necessarily talk about it that much, but it's something that has to be there for performances to be successful. And I think in many parts of our lives, we don't live that kind of way. And so yeah. when we're invited into that kind of vulnerable space, it obviously opens us up to mm. experiencing love of all kinds. Maybe it's just yeah. love of friendship, maybe it's love of community, but also it could certainly be a romantic kind of love. And I, love I think that groups like ours really kind of um, allow people to open themselves up in that way. I know that you said well, we can watch a Sunday virtually the live performance at six o'clock. Any other details, information you can pass along uh, that people need to know if they would like to, to take a moment to watch? Yeah, you can watch it at several, on several different platforms. I would invite you, first of all, to go to our website, which is okay. chorus.org. You can also see it on our Facebook page. Uh, just look up Indianapolis Men's Chorus and you'll find that. And again, it's a live premiere at 6 p.m. Um, and we'd love to have everyone who wants to sort of check Wonderful. it out. It's going to be a really sweet evening. Yeah, I think so too. The story of love. I am C in love. Great. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time. I hope to see you again soon.